going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a really good one. We're talking about a topic that a lot of bass fishermen do not like to talk about and that's fish care. You know, fish care is huge in our sport because at the end of the day, if we keep on killing our fish, then we're not gonna have any more fish to catch. You know, our kids and our grandchildren and future generations to come are not gonna be able to enjoy the sport that I love so much and that you love too. With that being said, bass fishing tournaments, you know, they are a huge leading call in death and bass. The live well systems that we have today, just they just can't put out enough oxygen for these fish to survive. Then that leads to delayed mortality from brain damage and stuff like that. And so there's a lot of myths that we've been taught on fish care that, that are not true and they will be proved to you in this video because we are meeting up with one of the owners of Fish Lung and uh, getting one of these Fish Lung units installed in our boat. It's a new revolutionary game-changing live well technology system that actually puts oxygen into your live well systems. And so, you know, these guys have cracked the code. They figured it out how to keep these fish alive. And so we're going to dig into the science later on. We're going to show you getting the live well system put in our boat. And then we're going to go out on the water and test it, put some fish in there, show you what it does. So stay tuned. This one's going to be exciting. I'm Johnny Maxwell, one of the inventors and owners of Fish Lung, uh, where the parent company is O2 Air and Sea. And I was just going to explain why we invented fish lung and what it does. I'm a fisherman. I've been fishing and catching fish since 1963. That's a long time. And I noticed that fish were dying at a lot of the tournaments I fish, so I decided to build a system that would actually put enough oxygen in the water that fish wouldn't die. A lot of people put ice in there in the water thinking that's going to keep the fish alive. Well, I noticed I was catching lots of fish in 85, 90, 92 degree water in the summer, so it didn't make sense that ice was the key if I'm catching fish in 90 plus degree water. So what I did, I learned to scrub the nitrogen out of air and it gives you oxygen. So me and my partners, we have spent several years developing uh, the control system that will put air in very clean and dry air into a unibody system. And the unibody system uh, is patented, we've got multiple patents on it. And the outflow is oxygen that goes into the live well into a nanobubble stone. And the little bubbles that you can't see are the ones that really count to the fish. The ones that you can see, they're like in a live well where it's very uh, effervescent. You see all these big giant bubbles. Those are, those are no good to a fish. They're not helping the fish. The fish need the tiny bubbles that are sub-micron. Uh, and that's what we do with this particular patented stone. So the system is very energy efficient. Uh, you, we've got many pros using the system right now that never turn their live well on. They just turn fish long on and their fish are in better shape than anyone else's. So for those that think that you can put a regular bubbler uh, from the local pet store in, you, you're not going to do it. It's not going to super saturate to 16, 18 parts per million uh, of oxygen in that water. It's just not going to happen. It takes this type of a system to do that. If you care about the environment, if you care about the future of the fish and the kids that's going to be fishing 10, 20, 50, 100 years from now, it's going to take a system like this. And we're the only ones with a system like this right now in the world. And we're right here in North Alabama. We're testing today at our test facility and uh, we just got through installing a system. Uh, we're testing the stone and that's the stone that will be in this video. This is your uh, fish long control box. This is actually what has the compressor in it that generates the air and we're just mounting it in position now. We've got the, the tie down strap in place. Once we get this in, we'll mount the unibody uh, assembly bracket. We'll plumb everything, we'll hook power to it and then we'll be ready to save some fish. Alright, so we've run the quarter inch tubing uh, through the back panel of this uh, Falcon boat and it just goes in. We went through the live well wall above the uh, overflow on the back wall of the live well and the tube is just sitting in the, in the live well waiting to be hooked to the stone. Yeah. Stone's not in there yet. Here's a stone. This is the unibody bracket here. It'll come assembled like this. When you mount this, make sure it is in a vertical position. Um, you can plus or minus about 15 degrees on it. You just can't lay it in a horizontal position. It will not work. So. In this boat, this, this uh, Falcon boat is actually a real easy installation. This is your filtering agent. You'll have to replace these periodically 
to keep peak performance of the system. And when you're when you're replacing them, make sure you've got enough clearance to get them in and out. On some boats, that lip right here would be in the way, so you got to make sure you got enough vertical clearance to clear it. On this particular Falcon boat, it really doesn't matter. You can mount it as high as you want it to. The lip is is not in the way. fish of the day. Alright guys, we just got fish long installed out here on the water. Uh, got the first fish in the boat. So I'm going to show you my little my process of running this fish long unit. Alright, right now, this is the only time I'll use my standard boat pumps is to pump my water in initially. So right now I've got about a, a two pounder in there. Just caught them, just put them in. That water is super hot. Water temp out here is 85.7 degrees, okay? Late August, you know, these fish are not very healthy just from, you know, the elements and everything, okay? So, now, I've got the fish line, got my water pumped. I'm gonna go back here to the fish lung itself. And you have these blue valves right here, okay? All of these valves have to be open before you turn the system on. So, you know, very simple. Just gonna open these valves. Okay, all the valves are open. There's five total. Okay, valves are open. I'm gonna come up to my accessory switch where I have it wired in. Turn it on. Okay, the system will run in a cycle. So it will cycle on and off. Okay, we'll look at our live well system. Now this is the stone. This is what puts the oxygen out. So here in a second, we should start seeing some, some bubbles. Okay, it doesn't take long. You can start seeing these very tiny micro oxygen bubbles coming up. Okay, so you know, these are the bubbles that you want. The fish can actually absorb these oxygen bubbles. And uh, you know, other systems in your traditional live well systems, they put off these really big bubbles. They're useless to the fish. They're just pleasing to the fisherman's eye. Um, you know, these fish can't absorb those big bubbles, so that's why these micro bubbles, you know, they, that's why they're so important. These fish can actually absorb these. And yeah, this water temp's so hot, but at the end of the day, water temp does not matter as long as you're super saturating the live well water with oxygen, and that's what fish lung's doing. So I'm gonna catch a couple more fish, put them in there, because you know, obviously, the more fish that are in a confined space, they're gonna use more oxygen. So we're gonna catch some more fish, put them in there, and we're gonna show you, you know, exactly how good these fish are doing. And uh, we're gonna keep them in here for several hours. And so, so if you hear it, you could hear it just cycled off. And you know, I'm sure I'm gonna get a bunch of questions on, hey, this unit is loud. It's not, it's been tested. It's at, at the same decibel range as your traditional live well system. So it just cycled off. I'm going to close my live well lids. I mean, my back half of my live well lids are already closed. I'm gonna turn this unit back on. can't even hear it running with, with the lids closed so it's you know it's the same decibel range as a traditional live well system and man this i mean this product is great man I, i'm really sold on it and i think it's going to be huge for the conservation of our sport and i'm really excited to see what happens to our lakes and our fisheries uh here here in a couple years because you know if we're keeping our fish healthy and keeping them re reproducing you know their best genetics and not killing the best genetics when we take them to the weigh-in you know this is going to be tremendous for our sport you know in our lakes so so we're gonna do a little bit more fishing and uh, put some more fish in the live well. That's a better one. Oh. That is awesome. That is awesome right there. Yes, it sure enough is. Let's get that guy in. Look at that big girl. 
he's just hovering right over the fish lung, taking in all of that oxygen. And so, you know, if you'll notice, these bubbles ain't coming up to the surface and popping, you know, they're staying suspended. Um, and, you know, so they're staying suspended. It's usable oxygen. It's actually usable oxygen. So, I mean, this is awesome. These fish, they are loving it. All right, guys, we got five fish in a live well now. Uh, they're probably they're probably about 14, 15 pounds worth. Um, so water temp is 85 and a half degrees. They've been in here all day. Um, I haven't changed out the water at all. The, the original water that I pumped in is the same water I have in there right now. So uh, I haven't changed. I haven't ran any pumps other than the fish long and they are alive and kicking i mean you know this the system is insane and and i'm so excited to to you know get it out there to the to the people and uh, really start seeing a difference in our conservation yeah, these fish are alive and healthy they're just hanging around that fish long stone it's pretty neat hey. Fish are healthy. Yes. The healthy fish. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. I um, mean, you know, if you've heard the fuss about fish lung and you don't believe in it because you ain't seen it, well, now you've seen it. You've seen it work firsthand. And uh, you know, this is no gimmick, no, no fad, man. This stuff works, and it's gonna keep our fish alive. So, uh, I know what earlier in the install part of this video. That, that was kind of just like a quick run through that wasn't in depth um and you know so if, if you have any questions once you buy your unit and want to learn more on the install process you can visit the website uh, fishlong.com they have an install video up now, if you have any more questions you can hit the uh the contact button send them an email or give them a phone call and somebody will 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 be glad to answer your questions so guys uh you know i encourage you to look more into this product it's going to save the future of fishing.